I was invited to Austria to teach a hotel staff some Photoshop and Premiere Pro to help them improve their social media game. And they offered me a free stay in the hotel, so I came two days early to do some climbing. Since I was on my own, I decided to do some Via Ferradas. And my first one was the Schistel Via Ferrada. This course is 200 meters high, so take the Statue of Liberty times two. And I just jammed the Eiffel Tower in there, just for a reference. Okay, I'm here. Uh, as you see, this guy here died doing this Via Ferrata. It will be a piece of work. We will face several passages that are D on a scale from A to E. A being very easy and E being super difficult. We will climb 200 meters and it will be the entire course will be 300 meters long. The Schiestel Via Ferrata is very well known for being a physical challenge, but even more for being a psychological challenge. It is absolutely exposed and you can just look down the stone wall at all times and see the bottom of the valley. So I had reached the first checkpoint. It wasn't as tough as I thought, um, but I think we have some harder parts coming up as well. I found a great spot to just sit, relax a little, drink some water and rest. Well, look what we have here. It says wall book. <laughs> the guide promised me a hard ending. And the end, the end is here. I did it. Holy shit. Remember the small shrine down there? In case you wonder how people die. Um, I was not secure for a couple of seconds. You know you have these two, two hooks and one of them got stuck. And I didn't notice it because it was a really difficult part and I just wanted to get it over with. And I unhooked the other one and I was just not safe for a couple of seconds. Of course, I mean, I noticed it and I don't think that I would have fallen, but this is how people get killed. There is one more thing for me to do. Uh, I will go to my hotel. I'm so looking forward to go <laughs> to the hotel. Uh, they have a sauna, I will have a shower. Sounds great to me.